welcome back to my channel. My name is Healing Honey, if it's your first time here. So today, let's talk about how we can heal our relationship to love. Our perception of love, which can become tainted in the world that we're in. If you are on a self-love journey, a journey of self-discovery, spiritual journey, and you're getting to know yourself, when you're doing shadow work, things might come to the surface that you recognize, wow, I have some blocks up blocking my heart from giving love or receiving love. And this is deep work. Like most people, myself included, it may not be so apparent that we are blocking love out of our life. But in this video, I wanna share how we can stop blocking our blessings, activate our heart chakra and become open to love. Okay, and so this video is gonna get a little bit deep, but we're gonna keep it light too. And so I'm so happy if you're here, make sure you hit the, subscri hit the subscribe button, the like button, and drop me a comment. I wanna know who's here with me. Let's not be mistaken. Having love in your life, having a relationship in your life, a connection that's meaningful, it's such an important part of life. Love is not just a feeling. Love is also an action and it's gonna teach you it's gonna nourish you, it's gonna comfort you. There's so many things that love teaches us and relationships with each other can teach us. But if you're anything like me, then sometimes we don't allow ourselves to get too deep, too attached, and we can run from love. We can be afraid of love. There's so many ways to look at this. You hear about like emotional unavailability or fear of intimacy fear of love. It's more so about how this can manifest in your life in a negative way. And I'm coming to you as somebody who's been on this journey. I'm going to tell you where it stems from. I'm going to tell you how you can see it show up in your life and then how we can move past it if you want to make a shift and if you want to open your heart because I truly know that while we're here on earth, we have this chance to activate our heart chakra and this is part of spiritual ascension. So it's not about shame and it's not about feeling like you're stuck one way. This is just how it is for you and you've made too many mistakes, you've messed up and so there's just no hope for you. Not true at all. Like if you're not new, if you're new here, I'll link some of my other videos. You know, I'm somebody who's embodied so much change throughout my spiritual awakening. I've learned so much, I've healed so much and it's, I'm all about growth on this channel. And so I'm here with you I'm not lecturing to you, I'm sharing with you, and I want you to share with me too so we can help each other and just be on this journey together. Life's all about learning, you know? If you're somebody who has any types, type of fear surrounding love, there's a lot of protection that comes with that, right? Because you don't get hurt this way, it's not a stumbling block for you, you can focus on other stuff. Love requires work, effort, compromise energy and working with another person to overcome things and be there for them it takes you being vulnerable it takes a lot and it's also risky things might not work out they might hurt you things like that right we've all been there but we have choices you know nothing in life is by accident nothing in life is by accident and so i've just been learning to put my focus and my trust and my faith toward love instead of my fears and things that have happened to me in the past. The crazy thing about life, you guys, it's a reflection of our internal state. So however you truly feel inside, you're so powerful that that's exactly what you're manifesting on the outside. Life is not just randomly happening. No, like, you have so much say and you're co-creating your life, whether you're aware of it or not. So whatever your beliefs are, you wanna become aware of this, of them. And then if you wanna make a shift in your life, it starts from the inside out. Why would someone be blocking love? Like why would someone be afraid of love? This is about healing our relationship and our perception of love. Instead of running away from it, how can we move toward it? Because as humans and as spiritual beings, having a human experience, we are love at our core. Experiencing love is what we're here to do. 
and everything that comes along with it. Someone may be blocking out love. It can start as early as like childhood, because think about a baby when they're born into this world, even before they're born. When we're in our mother's womb, we're not in control of what's happening even though maybe you agree to some spiritual lessons while you're here before you incarnated. Pause. That's a whole nother video though. <laughs> Anyways, so you're in your mom's womb, right? And things are happening. Her beliefs, your fam the family history, what's going on in the environment, what she's listening to, what she's telling herself, all of these things are soaking into you as your tiny little baby being formed. And if there's anything bad happening, that you're also like absorbing that. When you're born into the world, depending on your environment, your caregivers, what you were exposed to, what you weren't, where your needs met. Unfortunately, a lot of our needs weren't met because of the matrix, because of the world that we're in, where mothers are torn away from their babies and told to go into the workforce, what, three months after the baby is born? I'm a mother, you guys, and that is so just heart-wrenching. Like the baby still needs its mom and the mom needs to be with the baby, but what does the world look like? Sometimes the dads bounce. Sometimes there's money issues. Sometimes the moms have to leave the babies, right? And sometimes the babies are not safe or they're not feeling safe. There's so many factors that play into babies and little kids growing up not feeling loved or not knowing what love is not having their needs met emotionally or physically there's just so many things that play into that and your your subconscious mind is just being programmed from like until you're like 10 years old then when you get old enough to have a relationship let's say you're a teenager or a young adult you're going to attract to you whatever those beliefs were that you developed as a little kid whatever those beliefs were, whether they were good or bad, you're then gonna manifest and attract to you situations that are gonna replay these beliefs that you are carrying because you're a conscious co-creator. You're a goddess, you're a god in mortal form and you are very powerful. So if you think, um, like in a popular one is like, all men are this way or all women are this way. People just use people or people any negative belief you want to put in there that you felt growing up or saw or took on this belief as your own from a movie, from a song, from friends or anything like that. If you've been carrying this belief, you're going to see it play out like you're going to attract situations to you that reflect this internal belief. And so inner work and working on your subconscious mind is just the first step is becoming aware of what's really going on and not let's say you love the idea of love but are you truly open to receiving it and this is about our feminine energy i love talking about feminine energy because it's almost a foreign concept in the world that we're in we're in a masculine driven world and so it's important to be able to tap in to your inner world see what's going on and discover yourself negative ways we can see this non-belief in love manifest you can be in situationships and the thing that we don't want to do is we don't want to blame the outside world oh this guy blah 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 it's all his fault but why are you in that situation because you're like choosing it right look at the partners that you're been with or are with or the situations you have attracted to yourself they're reflections of what you believe to be true so when we change our mind we change our life and unblocking our heart is about forgiveness and also acceptance of what's happened in our past you know i talk about like trauma and things like this on this channel because if we close our eyes and pretend that we just had a perfect life that everything is just rainbows and butterflies and that we are just so perfect, we're never gonna be able to, we're, it's like spiritual bypassing. We want to instead be real and honest with ourselves, our wounds, and it's okay because every single human has things that they're meant to work on in this life so that they can have that hero's journey and overcome things in their life, so it's okay. It's about compassion and 
truthfulness. And so if you're blocked off to love, you might find yourself in situationships. You might be manifesting partners that don't want to commit to you. Or you might be in little flings. You might be dating someone where you know like, hey, there's no real potential here. Like there's no real, I don't really see this going into the future, but it'll do for now. Like I just don't want to be alone or I know it's not going to really work out. So I'm going to be with them, right? And it's not that we're consciously thinking, thinking these things. It's that we're subconsciously thinking these things. And so if you want to manifest love, it just starts with working on your own energy and your own heart and really forgiveness, like forgiving people who have hurt you in your past, whether this is from your childhood or past partners, like see them with loving eyes and grace and just knowing that we are bound to hurt one another here on earth, but it's okay. Like you have to learn to forgive and this is how we heal. It's like forgiveness and love, compassion, and making the choice for something different in your life. If you wanna manifest love, it's so possible. When we talk about healing our relationship with love, the first thing that I would encourage you to do, look at your environment. Like now as a grown adult, or whoever is watching this video, if you have people in your life who feel like real love doesn't exist, true love doesn't exist, or F guys, F girls, like, they have a negative programs running in their mind and spirit about love. You want to change your environment. Get away from them or just recognize that you are on your own journey. Energy is contagious and so just look at the people in your life and look at their mindset. They can influence you in bad ways. They might tell you that you don't need love. They might tell you that love is a waste of time that you should be chasing lust, meaningless sex, or money, the fast life. Like that's what life's all about is the thrill. And love is boring, love is not exciting. All of these things are them moving from fear subconsciously. And us too, right? Until we can face whatever programs are running in our life. And here's the thing, you guys. If somebody is telling you that you don't need love or it's a waste of time, the truth of the matter is that something bad has happened to them in their own life. And instead of letting it make them better and letting it be a mirror to them, that they attracted that situation as painful as it might be to teach them. Instead of it helping them, their bad situation to grow, instead of that, they chose to let it make them bitter and resentful and hateful and be moving in spite and you know misery loves company and so you just want to be mindful of the people you're around the company you keep a lot of people might be carrying envy jealousy in their hearts they're not happy and they're not brave enough courageous enough to make changes in their own life so why should they they don't want to see you win they don't want to see you happy because they're not feeling happy this is the truth you guys and so if you're wanting to manifest love be around people who are happily in love or be around people who are optimistic positive about love who are going to encourage you who are going to remind you that you're deserving of love and that it's possible and that love is abundant we're surrounded by love at every single moment and so it's just like Rumi said it's not about seeking love it's about tearing down the walls that we've built up against love, right? So we talk about healing our relationship with love. The first thing is become aware of your environment, not just the programs you have running, but also the people around you and what they may be saying to you. These days, I surround myself with like minds. Like as I've changed and grown on my journey, it's not just about maturity, but it's about spiritual growth. Surrendering to God, surrendering to love, it feels good. And choosing love over fear. You know what? To let, you don't want to let fear win because you could really miss out 
Think about like a roller coaster or something if you're at a theme park, right? And you see this really fun roller coaster and you're like, that looks fun. Like, I kind of want to go on it, but it has two loops and it goes really fast. And I don't know, I haven't been on one in a while. And what if this happens? What if that? So it's like you have a choice to make. Are you going to just watch everybody else get on the ride and miss out because you're afraid? Or are you going to take that like risk and have the time of your life? So that's how I see love these days. And I have better examples in my life now because like how I grew up, the people I saw, what I was around, the environment, like it wasn't the healthiest thing when I was really young, which was what programmed my mind, right? As I got older, it got better. But by the time I was like in my early 20s, I was like manifesting things I saw in my youth. Like, and so it wasn't good. And like now I'm at a place where I surround myself with healthier people who have a healthier mindset. And I love seeing like married couples working together online. Like it's encouraging. They're so successful and they have that yin yang balance, right? Cause the woman is like bringing that creative energy. And sometimes it's the man that's just super creative. And then there's like the business aspect, the masculine aspect and the consistency and like pushing forward and that beautiful balance it's, it's needed. And also just love. I mean, hello, none of us can be born unless a woman and a man come together and have make a baby right and hopefully in a spirit of love we need each other and so activating your heart chakra as i learned about spiritual ascension and how we're here to move up right now we're in the third density but if we're going to go to the fourth to the fifth to the 5d we have to be living from our heart space which means unblocking our heart but also cleansing our heart cleansing our heart believing in love living in a state of love vibrating higher and this is takes effort it's not about believing in the fantasy of love that we've seen in the movies it's about what love truly consists of consists of which are things like patience forgiveness grace compassion compromise sacrifice effort friendship support nourishment freedom accountability it's like so many different things and one it's very beautiful and so i i used to think that because you guys know i'm on a celibacy journey right and when you're on a spiritual journey a lot of times you're alone you're purifying yourself this is all part of the process and there was a point in time where i used to think that well a relationship might just hinder me like i'm them with the focus on them what about focusing on me i got things to do self-love before a relationship but a relationship relationships are very much part of life and love is going to teach you you can actually grow through relationships very much they're catalysts for growth especially spiritual relationships you guys and so just be just be cautious i want to make this video because you can self-sabotage beautiful connections you can block them out of your life if you're just like looking towards people who you know are like not good for you or don't even really like you or just want you for your body or whatever <laughs> ladies or men don't be fooled by these women who are after your money or after what you can give them they just want you to just take care of them and they're fooling you please move from your heart space so that's why this is about inner work and getting to know ourselves lastly some other reasons that we can fear love fear of loss we don't want to lose something we give our whole heart we're in so deep and we can fear that it'll be gone but you guys just want to remind us that life is a temporary journey here this experience here on earth is temporary the most beautiful flowers you've ever seen are eventually going to die go back into the earth and new ones are going to grow your kids they're gonna grow up and even us you know like we're here and then we're gonna not be here anymore and so we don't have to fear loss because life is constantly changing we're constantly evolving and and so it's about savoring the sweet moments and enjoying them being present and grateful being in a state of love as much as possible instead of fear that hinders our experience when instead we can enrich our experience if we learn to open our hearts and i sound like a brand new person but that's because that's what this experience of 
spiritual evolution looks like. It's very beautiful. It's about expansion. It's about newness and it's about growth, which means changing. You very much can change. It's possible. And the last thing you guys, because I have to peace out right now to go pick up my kid, but fear of heartache. Because when you open yourself to love, okay, now you're in a vulnerable space. But the thing about heartache is that everything happens for a reason. If somebody glows on and cheats on you, then after everything simmers down, ask yourself if that's a person that you truly want to be with. Like if they want to go do it with somebody else or move on, like then that just means that maybe that wasn't the person for you and there's another one. So instead of it allowing it to close your heart, take some time to heal, but then be like, curious and take a chance on someone new it's amazing what god the universe will do will will usher into your life when you've learned the things that you need like everything can be a stage of preparation so if somebody broke your heart they weren't the one for you you're supposed to learn some stuff and now you're stronger you're more wise you have some experience and now you're better suited for the next love of your life, but we won't find them if we're too afraid. I was thinking about how some people are like on their fourth marriage, right? I know some people in my personal life who are like, they can be in relationship after relationship and I'm over here like, whoa, on a celibacy journey and all these things, right? It's about the mindset. If you see an abundance of love, you're just like, if something doesn't work out, even a marriage, you just be like, okay, well, let me try again. Like eventually one's gonna work out. Look at J-Lo, okay, look at J-Lo. And this is no shade that she's in her Leo energy, fire energy. Like it's about giving it your best. And then if it doesn't work out, it's okay. So we don't have to fear heartache. It's part of life. Unless you're hiding under a rock somewhere, you're gonna feel some pain. The pain is gonna teach you. It's better to embrace it, accept it, and don't let it harden you me and everybody else and so that's it you guys i just want to share my thoughts on how we can heal our relationship with love how we can move towards love manifest love activate our heart chakra move from our heart space be open to love be in our feminine energy be able to receive and give love this is one of the greatest gifts if not the greatest gift on earth so don't be afraid to get too deep don't be afraid to dive in. Don't be afraid to let yourself explore love, but this doesn't mean on the surface. Like this means layer by layer, going deeper and deeper. That's how it's more fun, more intriguing. You get to know more about yourself and someone else, like experience true intimacy. And so this is what I wanna share. Drop me your comments. What are your thoughts on love? And you know, a lot of, I know a lot of people are here who are on a celibacy journey. So you wanna be mindful. You don't wanna to get too comfortable being alone only because we don't wanna block off our heart forever. There's a time for everything. So there's a time to be in purification. There's a time to get to know yourself and love yourself. Learn how to love yourself fully. There's a time to heal yourself. But I just wanna end this video by saying that there's this perception that you have to be fully healed to get into a relationship and it's just not true are we ever going to be fully healed right that's a whole nother story a true relationship is about two people coming together who are not fully healed and just giving it their best effort i'm sending you so much love so much power so much healing on your journey take care of yourself i'll see you in my next video